Good morning, Oklahoma. My name is Parker Henley, and I am filling in this morning for Dr. Johnson here on the Cow-Calf Corner. This morning's topic is going to be about selecting replacement heifers for the success and long-term future of our cow herd. The first thing I think we need to consider is how many do we need to keep? And if we look at data, it suggests that a cow herd needs to be replaced at the rate of five to 10% annually. We know also that heifer development is not 100% successful. So we also wanna take into consideration that we probably need to keep around another five to 20% of heifers so that we have enough to replace our cow herd. When we consider that, I think the selection starts way earlier than the breeding season. In fact, I would consider you to begin thinking about this prior to weaning. I would look at things like uh, selecting heifers that are born earlier in that calving season. That ultimately allows us to do a couple of things. First things, it picks heifers from cows that bred earlier. And even though fertility is somewhat lowly heritable, I think this indirectly allows us to select for those cattle that have more uh, success uh, at breeding and longevity built into them. Secondly, it better equips those heifers to calve at two years of age. The second thing that I would look for is I would select heifers from cows that have great udders and have milked well and have stayed in the herd for a long time. We also, in today's era, have some other great tools available to help us select really good heifers, and that is genomics. There are a lot of commercial companies out there that have genomic tests available for crossbred or commercial cattle. If they are purebred cattle, we have genomically enhanced EPDs that can bind phenotypes with pedigree information that allow us to make really good selection decisions. Once we have those heifers selected and we have an appropriate number, then comes in the next stage of developing them until the breeding season. If we know that our cow herd, the mature size is somewhere near 1,400 pounds, that means that we need to develop our heifers to two thirds of that mature weight at the start of breeding season. And if we have those heifers that we're gonna calve at 24 months of age, we're gonna breed them they need to become pregnant at 15 months of age. So we need those heifers to weigh a little over 900 pounds from that cow herd uh, at the start of that breeding season. So I would consider targeting heifers that have an appropriate growth rate, and we wanna develop those at a slow and consistent rate so that we don't over condition them. We know that heifers that have been pubertal more than once prior to the breeding season have a better success and chance of getting pregnant. And we know that pubertal status is highly heritable and it is correlated to longevity of the cow herd. And so once we have those heifers properly developed, I would suggest turning them out with a calving ease bull uh, that can breed those heifers, as well as prior to the breeding season, I would have a pelvic area measurement done so we can eliminate those extremes, those small or infantile uh, reproductive tracts. So as we wrap this up here, I encourage you to put some extra time into thinking and selecting our replacement heifers. As we know in the, the droughts that we have been through, it is important to have cows that are equipped to handle your environment. Select good replacement heifers, develop them properly to two thirds of their mature weight by the start of the breeding season, and then ultimately, Cull out any of those heifers that don't become pregnant early in that breeding season so we can market them as yearlings. And I think you'll set yourself up for success in your cow herd down the road. Thank you again for joining us here on the Cow Calf Corner this morning.